Good evening, uh, ladies and gentlemen. Professor Sadagopan, Mr. T. R. Anand, my friend Som, and of course my colleague uh, Sanjeev, CEO of Karnataka Digital Economy Mission, and all the professionals, they are all here. I'm pleased to be here today, uh, standing before you to talk what has been achieved for last many years in Karnataka. And I'm happy here because uh, I was uh, one of the founding trustees of the Thai way back in 1999, along with uh, Nandan and uh, Kiran Mujundar. I was uh, one of the trustees who signed the document. And since then, you know, the Thai has uh, grown leaps and bounds. And I'm happy to note that, you know, one good thing that Madan, Madan is missing here, but uh, he's uh, shown a little bit transformation last few years. He made the Thai more actionful, more eventful, more colorful, more glamorous, whatever you say. He is a man with all of energy, and uh, he, you know, I mean, coordinates with our Sanjeev in our KDM, and both together with a high energy, we could able to do many things, including uh, we did one, uh, you know, the road shows in Karnataka just last month. We went around five cities doing a 15 events across uh, five cities, and uh, I must tell you, that when we give this message of uh, beyond Bangalore, then and there 95 companies came and signed an expression of interest indicating that, you know, we are there to work and explore these emerging tech clusters. That is an action. I congratulate the Madan and Sanjeev and also acknowledge the, uh, you know, the ties cooperation in that. The second thing, uh, you know, Mr. Uh, you know, Arvind and uh, Anand and, uh, of course, the Som. The kind of things what you guys have done for last 14 years, uh, phenomenal, eight years, sorry, eight of, uh, you know, year that you have done this IOT next for many years and then Matrix Found a Forum today. And uh, this is, uh, uh, you know, I, I know that when this has started, not many people are talking about uh, the IOT and it has brought in a lot of awareness among the young professionals, a lot of uh, technology coordination, mentoring, etc. that I has done because of which the industry has grown. So we always feel happy that we are all part of this ecosystem in Karnataka and Bangalore particularly and because uh, the wealth of wisdom in Bangalore and which we no other city in the country has. We feel proud that you, you are part of this. See, this is the one city where the technologists, the academicians and the government work together for a better cause. And as a part of that, you know, the Karnataka Digital Economy Mission also has come out. Uh, this is a by the industry for industry, and we are working very close with the industry and also with the government acting like an effective bridge for promoting the digital economy as a overall and focusing on the growth of the GCCs, focusing on the growth of ESDM and the growth of the startups and innovation, and also giving a focus for the beyond Bangalore clusters. Because what we believe what has been happened in Bangalore could be replicated in a small way in the clusters like the Mysore, Mangalore, and uh, Hubli. And that's what we started uh, focusing on those places and uh, things have started uh, working. So one message I want to give all the young professionals here, whenever you have time, go and witness those places. There is a fresh air, there is less population, quality of the life is much better, and the startups grew up much faster, the costs are lower, you know. So with that, uh, I just want to tell you that, you know, we are in an interesting phase because multiple reasons we know that our economy is doing well. The, you know, the, it's reported that we did around 7% growth the last, uh, last month and uh, last year. And uh, no other country in the world is able to grow this level, you know. We are the fifth largest economy and likely to go become the probably second largest by 2047, that is what, uh, third largest by 2047. And that is what our Prime Minister said that, you know, if our economy can grow from the currently 3.1 trillion to reach around $5 trillion by 2026 and $9 trillion by 2030, and a very ambitious and aspirational goal of reaching around 32 trillion, uh, you know, th or 40 trillion by 2047. This is an ambitious roadmap that has been put in front of us. What it means is that it gives a lot of responsibility in each citizen, each technologist in the country. And particularly in Karnataka, what we are trying to do is, if the country has such an ambitious growth, can we achieve 
a 30 percent of that retaining our share, particularly in the digital economy, right? The digital economy aspirations are to reach around $1 trillion 2026 and a $3 trillion by 2030. That means our Karnataka digital economy, we wanted that to grow to the a trillion dollar by 2030. So when that is happening, what it means is, we are very proud that you know Karnataka is known as the, uh, the number one startup capital in the country, and uh, with around 23,000 startups and uh, raised around 64 billion dollars, and uh, more than 4,000 uh, investors are there, active investors and uh, together uh, probably invested into 1,700 companies here. So this is not sufficient for us. What is most important, what I feel, which I was talking to some of my other colleagues, is, uh, you know, entrepreneurial ecosystem is a pyramid, right? You know, top of the pyramid, 15%, nobody needs us. They are the born entrepreneurs, they can grow on their own, they don't need the mentors, they don't need, they know how to manage the funds. That's what we seen with uh, you know, the Olas and Swiggies and the Razor Pay and all that. The second layer of maybe 30% of that entrepreneur, they are the scale-up entrepreneurs. They know, they gradually grow, they do the pre-seed and seed level and pre-series A and series A and then grow. But what is most important is the bottom of the pyramid, there is a 40 to 45% of that entrepreneurs are there, there the mortality rates are still high. How do you make sure that the mortality rates are lower at that level. If you are able to do that, our, obviously our economy can go much faster, and the startup, you'll see a lot more, many successful startups. We always talk about only successful startups in Karnataka and in India, but there are people, I was told around, uh, you know, 2,000 companies had died down last year. How can you make sure that number is not 2,000? It's much lower than that. I was told that, uh, you know, based on one IBM's report, 90% of the startups would fail in less than in, uh, 10 years. That means not many people are making to the level, right? But what is also good part it is, good part is in Karnataka, at least that mortality le uh, uh, you know, levels are lower. That is because there are people we have a very matured software IT services industry, matured mentors coming out of the industry, they're always there at one call away to help and support the startups here. We have very matured you know, investment ecosystem, not just the HNIs, but there are funds, institutional funds, deep tech funds, the government funds, et cetera, et cetera. That is, that is helping a lot. And the government itself came forward and created, uh, in way back in 1999, government started this Karnataka IT fund, which is the first time in the country, and that fund has effectively, you know, that's only the fund which has started with the government of, uh, state governments with the support of the government of India, still functioning and uh, doing very well, right? So, there is a, our Elevate program, some of you are aware, that the most successful program, Right? Women Elevate, there is a very woman focused Elevate program. So all these things are the programs that are helping the bottom of the pyramid entrepreneurs which further we can strengthen. The one way I would call that, uh, you know, uh, we can strengthen that is maybe Ty can take the responsibility of listing out the failures. Failures are the great lessons. We still do not know. Sometimes the failures happens because of the lack of innovation Sometimes the failures happens because of the product market fit. Sometimes the uh, you know failures happens because of uh, uh, you know the the founders uh, you know uh, you know synchronization. Sometimes mismatch of the resources that you hire. All these things. How can we avoid those pitfalls? Are the lessons that people should know. So uh, one of the suggestion I had uh, request for the tie is if they can document the list of the companies that are not done well and reasons for why those companies are not done well. That becomes a great lesson for every new entrepreneurs to come up. From the government will continue to support, you know, the Karnataka Digital Economy Mission. You know, it has taken few of the activities under startup and innovation. 
it works very close with the government to make sure that the elevate program is you know many more people apply for that elevate program and because of which the more and more people would have an access to the grants that are coming from the government number two it also works very close with the tie in many many forums and the events to make sure that the uh, you know innovation do happen the third very important thing is the innovation no more limited to one country the innovation is happening between the countries a cross border innovation the people from the taiwan people from korea people from japan people from israel who has a lot of technology innovations they wanted to come here and experience our markets they are they are the people who wants to work with our startups so no more that you know cross border trade was happening between larger company to larger company now this cross border trade or cross border innovation is happening between the smaller company in other country to the smaller company here so that is another thing what we are enabling the other thing what we also did is the startups coming out of these emerging tech clusters we are not calling them as a tier 2 tier 3 tier 4 clusters mysore mangalore hubli darwad and belgaum we are calling them as emerging tech cluster the only reason is by calling them tier 2 tier 3 you demeaning them so we identify the startups from those locations right when we started called a, a in startup grid only 30 companies came 18 months back right now there are 400 companies coming out of this you know the emerging tech clusters and 40% of the elevate winners are the you know the founders from those places that means there is a lot of meat is there in those locations they need to be told that you know be there where we are don't get you know demotivated that you are in a secondary city they are not in bangalore and the industry will come to you we are bridging that gap we are taking the investors and exposing them and bringing all these 400 people and making them that they are at par with any other startup in bangalore that is second the third the the seed cluster fund you know we wanted to localize the fund availability in those clusters right the government has again supported we created this uh, startup seed fund in all these uh, 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 three locations with uh, a 25 crore 78 crores 30 percent coming from the government 30 percent the local leaders putting the money into that they are the people who are going to select the companies and 30 percent is coming from the institutions that means any company that is there in the uh, those clusters has a chance that they would get the funding then and there itself a seed funding the next level obviously will bridge to the larger funds etc other thing we created this accelerated network network of accelerators karnataka is blessed with probably 300 plus incubators and an accelerators how do you make sure those accelerators are lot more useful to the bottom of the pyramid entrepreneurs you know so these are this is another initiative that is uh, helping created three we identified around three accelerators in uh, bangalore and uh, three accelerators in each of the clusters they will be working tandem to support the uh, the startups in those locations as well as startup here so these are all the few of the initiatives so the key message what i'm giving is uh, there is a great potential for our uh, startups and the matrix forums that i and the kdm can work together to bringing up lot more light and lot more visibility to the startups and also help this uh, reduce the mortality rate of this uh, uh, you know the startups and uh, help them to grow to the next level that is very very important that is what can give us lot more uh, you know strength of this innovation coming through our uh, you know the startup founders thank you ladies and gentlemen